your boy I have to actually press the fucking hotkey myself from having back with another video and cryptocurrency the um manner from the gods themselves uh maybe the most important invention of the modern era and one of the easiest ways to get scammed if you don't know what you're doing and I've only had one instance in my life onto which my funds got uh locked onto an exchange it was I believe uh late 2017 and it was one of the hotter exchanges out there it had xby um, i believe it's cryptopia but i may be wrong about that it was one of the crypts and i had got on there and literally the next day they disallowed withdrawal of uh eca which was pretty much a similar technology to uh xby just supposed to be a really fast coin which you can just do transactions very quickly and uh back then you know an exchange going on the next day was very possible uh it's not something you ever account for but it's very possible and that unfortunately happened to me now since then you know we've had uh kycs and then um kind of having to clear your exchange with the sec and yada yada, yada to work in the u.s but there's one specific exchange that does not allow for that and doesn't force you to, to have a uh, KYC and it's called coin park. Now coin park is an exchange that's at the very bottom of any given coin you see on coin gecko, but it is there and it does have numbers and statistics and yada, yada and all this shit. So it does is, is listed on coin exchanges. And one such coin is Utu, which is a pretty, um, it's a, it's a coin. Who gives a shit about the coin? It's a coin. And one of the few changes is on is Uniswap, which is being raped and pillaged by fees. And I believe Hotbit, which uh, mandates KYC because it's a reputable exchange. And this piece of garbage, CoinBart. So CoinBart being the shit it is, um, apparently like just inflates the volume it has because you have to go on here. And I'm going to come back to this page. But if you actually go on here and see what's occurring, um, there's almost no walls and there's almost no buy orders. This is it. I'm, I'm, I can scroll down a little bit if you'd like. It doesn't even let me scroll down. I don't know what the fuck is happening. It's like, it gives me a scroll option. It doesn't let me scroll down. So this piece of shit doesn't even let you scroll down. But to show you, there are five sell orders and there are seven buy orders on this uh, gorgeous exchange here. And these numbers pretty much mean nothing. And I'm going to show you why. So if you look here, these, I'm trying, I tried multiple times to sell my Bitcoin because I thought they had Bitcoin pairings for something. They have none. So I tried to sell my Bitcoin. If you want to look just to, you know, confirm for a fact, we can go back here. This is the layout of this shitty 2015 version of Binance, um, also a Chinese exchange. Um, we have main, in all caps, DeFi and NFT. It has USDT, which, looking at this makes me, honest to God, scared just for Tether. Like, this piece of shit only thought that Tether was worth using because if you go to BTC, the only thing you can buy with BTC is ETH. If you go to ETH, the only thing you can buy with that is DRC, which has recently come out and say that they are delisting they are not allowing for d4 d d4c drc to be used on this piece of shit exchange they said piece of shit exchange three billion and 24 hour volume now i'm gonna give it the benefit of the doubt and say that that is because it is listed in the volume of this coin and not of some proprietary like BTC pairing or yada yada yada. Um, but something something weird is that you know BTC, one of the hotter coins in the universe, the hottest coin in the universe, um, has a 24 hour volume of 919, which just seems a little bit odd to me. Now, I'm assuming that it's just because it's in BTC format, but I would still think that a reputable exchange would have that, you know, just. A worked out to you know to Satoshi's as you would think paired against Satoshi's as many decent exchanges do, 
and it also would have a little bit more volume. But here's why I really call this a scam. So here, here, if we go back to here to BTC USDT, so this price right here, which does move, it does move actively move as if something were to be happening, as a 24 hour change would be happening, uh, as if volume would be occurring. If I go here, so four or five, and one more thing you should notice, there's no market order. I've never seen an exchange in any kind of capacity for anything, equities, uh, fucking metals, whatever you want to say, crypto, that doesn't have a market order. This fucking thing, I, this abortion, I don't know what this is. I don't know what this does. Press preset order and tree so will send preset order into market new aggregate. Okay. I don't know what the fuck any of that means. All right. And th if you want to look through this, this is, tell me if you understand what the fuck is happening here. So this price will send, this system will send price and amount in limit order into the market for trading. The newest average price, it was the trigger price you set. What the fuck does that mean? USDT is paired against the $1 bill. What the fuck does this mean, trigger price? It doesn't mean I fucking put it for $2? That's not possible. It's paired as one. Why is there even an option to put something in trigger price? Like what point? Uh, nine, 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 seven? Just put in a dollar. Why? What the fuck is this? What the fuck's the point of this? And then if you go here to price, I don't understand what the fuck this means. Now, maybe I'm just stupid. I don't know. But I do understand the, the premise of a limit order. A limit order is basically like a, um, you know, for, for stocks, if you had like a $500 stock and you wanted to sell it at, um, let's say, $499 or more accurately, because you want to sell it up, $501. But sometimes you do want to sell it for a loss. And I just, you know, had the idea to, you know, try selling at a loss. Um, one. Sorry for the fucking low time. This piece of shit uh, coin. This piece of shit site to have almost no volume and somehow still slow as fuck. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Ten different times I tried to sell this. Multiple times being under the current price of BTC. And none of them went through. None of them went through at all. So we're going to try just for, just for the sake of camera. Just for the sake of the camera. It is currently at 45384 which, as you can tell, is a pretty decent amount less than this. It'd be very difficult for it to drop that much in the next couple of seconds. Very difficult, right? Order completed. Okay. Look at this. Keep, keep your eye on this. Look what it drops to. Right where it wouldn't feel. For some reason... It would drop within about five, I don't know, what, what do you call it, micro pennies? I don't know, uh, tenths, hundreds, thousandths, about, about about five thousandths, give or take, from where you list that price at every time. And it doesn't move. It freezes right at this price, no green, no red, freezes right at this price every given time that you need to sell. It's going to do that every single time, just to you know show you. Because when you cancel it, it goes back to moving, right? Look, look at it for a second. Give it, give it one second. There you go. It just jumps right back up to wherever the fuck it was at. So let's, you know, let's just do some dramatic, you know, just, just for the sake of conversation. So 40, 43,000, you know, 2,000 drop from currently, almost impossible to think about. A 43,000 drop, a $2,000 drop in the next 20 seconds. Just stay with me here. BTC, sale. Order confirmed, a $2,000 drop in the next couple of seconds. Isn't that crazy? A $2,000 drop in less than 10 seconds. And then it froze right there. Now, maybe if that happened, maybe it would freeze. You know, I'll give you that. Maybe it would. But I don't think, for some reason, if I go to uh, BTC price, which, you know, you can find pretty easily, Azerbaijani Minot. I'm using a VPN, so that's why that pops up. Um, $45,450. $56. You can round it up if you want to. $45,457. It did not, from what I understand, did not have a multitude of thousands uh, of a departure from where it was currently at. So, a little bit of a, you know, maybe you don't want to call it a scam, but it's a little bit suspect that no matter what I put this at, it's going to drop to that price. That might just be a little bit suspect, you know. I, I don't know. Let's let's try to go higher. Let's. I've never tried to go higher, but let's try to go higher and see what happens. Fifty thousand. Fifty 
it doesn't go higher. It just it apparently just freezes. I don't know what I don't know what just happened, but it just stopped. It just stopped moving for like a good couple of seconds. Uh, so I guess if you want to sell it under, that's not possible. But if you want to sell it over, you, it just never gets filled. Basically, um, let's try. And also something I did actually did I did actually did try was I tried selling like a dollar over where it was currently at because with a fluctuation you would expect that. So let's try um forty five thousand. Four hundred and what fifty fifty? Try this. Okay, so we have to wait till it goes down a little bit. I guess something feasible. Okay, so let's try four thousand four hundred. You know, I don't know, four thousand four hundred and ten. Okay. I'm looking at. I'm looking to see if it goes up because it from what from what happened last time, like it would just. And I know BTC is plummeting, so I mean, okay, I, I get you, but like it would just pretty much drop anytime I got kind of close to it. So 340. It never like reaches above the like the limit you type in. It's gonna drop around 200, I'm sure, pretty soon here. Okay, 340. It's never gonna go above 340, I guarantee you. Okay, so let's try 295. Uh, like magic. It. It's some kind of coding, uh, like, um, some kind of coding mechanism they have where, like, it, I think it pretty much reads your input, and then based on, like, a certain amount that you give, uh, it's, like, if it's over, like, it'll just drop accordingly. Like, right now, right, like, it's, it's not over the limit that was already there when I typed it in, so it didn't drop. But let's say, okay, let's see. 200 okay you see it freezes when like i'm when like i'm, I'm just about to type something new I, I saw that uh let's try to drop real quick for me no okay drop 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 you see it goes right back up all right 318 You know what I could do that? Okay, let me try. I'm going to manufacture or artificially drop the price. So I hit sell. Yeah, mass quantity, whatever. Uh, 50%, 100%. Who gives a shit? It's not going to let me sell anyway. So 310. I mean, I should drop the price under. Okay. I didn't, I didn't get... I guess it went under me before I could go under it. This is so fun. It's like a fucking game with these with this shit. All right, two, 200. Sell, it should, oh my god, this is so fucking stupid. Sell, it should drop to 200-ish uh, within a couple. Yep, okay, so it, as it does. Now, if I type fast enough, theoretically should, so I have to go over, right? Uh, let's see. It's gonna surge back up a second and delete this. So I need it to be something like somewhat close so I can partially trigger if it were to actually work. Um, let's see, cancel it. Okay. I need to hurry up. I gotta do this by pretty much instantly. All right, cancel. Okay. Eat, 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 eat. Ah, it's, uh, you can't even cheat it out. I tried. I tried to get above it uh, to where it would trigger, but. Yeah, so just to show you that it, it's um, I don't even does the low even change because I mean apparently I did forty two thousand and then this said it was forty two thousand but the low didn't even change so that goes to show you how this works. Matter of fact, I mean just look at it like this forty one thousand one hundred percent sell. Okay, so that's that's twenty four hour low twenty four thousand right? And look at this number right here. Let me see what it does. Okay, so what you would think if it freezes that point, because I thought it would, I think it's like a certain um, like range where it just won't uh, go for it. But this would clear. Like if it was a normal exchange, this would go through. If it was stuck at this price point, this would go through. If that wasn't a scam, it's just like this is this isn't a real number. This isn't a reflective of real volume. There's probably no real volume on this exchange. I mean, if you go and look at more most people. Yeah, this bullshit. I mean, it just it just dipped to wherever you say it dips at. For the sake of our conversation, I mean, you could just like, how about one? How about one 
USDT. Hey, you say 100%. Okay. So I have 0. 0.0006 USDT. One USDT. One USDT. Like, this doesn't even make sense because that's how much USDT would be about. It's a dollar. Now, I, I know that you guys probably been seeing this. Like, what the fuck is wrong with this dude? Why the fuck is he doing? But, like, this doesn't even work right in and of itself because this is supposed to be what it is. But, you know, I kind of was just trying to figure out shit. Like, let's, let's try this. One BTC. Or one USDT. And, like, I'm doing precatory. Is that a word? He just make a hold up. I've never heard that word before. Pre hold up. Okay, let's see what that... They teach me a little something today. Precatory, okay. Relating to or wishing or expressing a wish or request. So my wanted price was too low. Okay. I just did 41,000, which is like 4,000 under what you was talking. Okay, so let's try let's try 100. You know, let's, you know, let's be reasonable with them. You know, try that. Precatory price. Okay. 10,000. How about 10,000? Is that unreasonable? That's still unreasonable. What is reasonable to you guys? If the price can drop by 4,000 in 10 seconds, I honestly got him surprised anything is unreasonable to you people. So I guess there's some point where their range is not allowed. And maybe there are certain orders that will not be allowed to go through. You know, I get that. But like, this, this is clearly like, like there's some kind of issue with their display system where like if you went too below, too far below a certain range, it would um I guess probably break their um display, a false display, artificial display. So maybe they have it to where you know you can't do that. If you like look into coding like Java shit like that, like booleans where like you kind of have um if ands you know and true and falses, they uh probably would have a broken uh display so they have like guess a range um that you are allowed to do and if if you go below that range then it hits you with a print statement that print statement is precatory price is low please reset this is ridiculous like this this would be this would like probably mark like the death of btc for quite a while <laughs> if you had a fucking needle um, uh, not a needle but um a fucking drop like this i mean that would be Absolutely asinine if that was the case. I mean, look at this. Look at this This right here. And you just have, oh, 4,000 in just 10 seconds just gone. You can have like probably the top 10 whales all sell at once. And that, that shit wouldn't happen. But on a coin park, very possible. And just, you know, I, I think, you know, anybody who follows cryptocurrency enough, uh, apparently more than me, um, would probably know that coin park is a piece of shit. I mean, like, they literally have points where, like, let's see, um, I forgot what it was. Uh, it was, like, a range, and, like, the range had three options. I don't want to show too much, because I don't want to, like, show, like, my exchange or my wallet or anything. I mean, like, I know I won't ever get this money off of this exchange, because if you go back to here, to get BTC off, let's see, withdrawal, yeah. To get BTC off, you have to have point zero. 0.05 BTC, which is $227, you have to send to this place. I already, like, if you're going to withdraw, you probably already have the money, you know, sitting on there, and you already recognize that this whole fucking bullshit has occurred. So you'd be like, why would I put in $227? But something funny that I noticed is that that's 0.5 BTC, which, 0 0.005 BTC, which is, you know, a pretty good amount. Then you go to Ethereum, which is 0 0.005 ETH, 0 0.05 ETH, which is still, like... Like, if you, like, wrote that up, like, this is... Hold on, let me, let me go back to this calculator. Uh, okay. So this is 14,100... 1400, uh, no, 16. And you go to 0.5... 0.005 BTC, just so I can not look a complete moron. But 0 0.005 BTC, that's $227. That's, that's a pretty big laps you know uh, a gap there that's not being covered and you know what's even funnier is that you go to ltc which is the other big three it's 0 0.05 ltc which if you look at the math here that will be about uh crumbs it will be about ten dollars wait okay yeah uh eight dollars 
So 0.05 LTC, 0.05 ETH, and 0.005 BTC. Yeah, I think there's a little bit something funny there. You know, just if you ask me, it's a little bit odd. Um, it's a little bit, I mean, just it's a small amount odd. So yeah, um, this is a massive scam. Uh, I would recommend to never use this uh, exchange. You will A, have to apparently put in some incredulous amount to get your shit off um i'm not even sure if it'll work if you want to because if you go to twitter um there's multiple people that have said that they've had a problem getting their shit off of here um if you go to i'm actually in a telegram um i'll you know go ahead and click to that real quick just to show you guys what i'm talking about uh let's see telegram, telegram, telegram. okay so yeah um just make withdrawal fees higher uh, withdrawal fees are dynamic because of blah, blah, blah. So just blah. most of the people that complain about withdrawals taking forever. Why well, is taking so many dollars? Blah, blah, blah. So many people withdrawals no problem. Waiting time is long. This what this had. This doesn't address his concept. What he said at all. Uh, he said they're taking many days to withdraw funds. The waiting time is long. That's bullshit. I mean, like that's not a response to, um to what somebody would want. So that could be waiting. We will notify you of new progress in your withdrawal. Please be patient. Um. You know, it's been like an hour. You got nothing. I return my deposit. I don't know what that means. It's a lot of overseas guys. Withdrawal still pending for 24 hours. I know for me, my my BTC withdrawing, uh, which normally takes about probably like less than 10 minutes for any real exchange. It actually took like three, four hours just for my shit to deposit. Not even the withdrawal, but just depositing. Shit took that long. Withdrawal is pending for people again. Withdrawals are pending. Withdrawals are still pending. Withdrawals are pending. We know if I use new progress, it's not even a real answer. Um, this is how this is what I said. How long it takes to deposit Bitcoin? According to the block congestion and synchronization conditions are not fixed. Okay. Some people said 13 days it took. They were withdrawal still pending. Uh, buy and sell price are the same. I don't know what the fuck that means. I don't what what the fuck does it what the fuck does that mean? Like if you're going on a real exchange, I don't know what the fuck the buy and sell part like what gave me like what like the the aggregate of what the orders are. There's only like fucking five orders for BTC and a seven orders for selling. I mean, I don't get that shit. Um I mean you just keep on going. We're waiting for twelve days, uh call support twelve days. I uh, can't withdraw. I deposit 15 Ethereum. Holy shit. 15 Ethereum and it's not reflected. Which is what happened to me. Like, my shit wasn't reflected for a while. And I checked the, um, the, uh, they, they give you an, an address, uh, like, like Ether scan for shit in Ethereum. Uh, they gave you some kind of BTC shit and it actually will tell you when your shit, like, had so many confirmations. It wasn't, it wasn't. I couldn't directly tell if it would tell you when your shit like posted or not, but it told you confirmations. Um, still can't withdraw money. Less than three days for each other, but now I've been waiting for my withdrawal for sixteen days. So there is one guy that says he's been able to withdraw three different times, but now it's just taking sixteen days. Um, the market has a large price of volatility, probably been for a long time. We must take responsibility. The blockages, Earth's technology, bullshit. Uh, people think the version of exchange is a joke. The withdrawal of mints will take a while. Uh, 15 days, more than 10 days. Let me see. Let me see. Let me see. I, I scrolled back too far, but. Yeah, um, guys, like, shit-talking in Russian. Uh, the Russians are going to get mad pretty quickly. Deposit of 522 USDT is missing. Uh, that's a lot. That's a lot of money. Turns out you promised to solve these problems. With deposit, you can tell the number of support taking No guarantees someone will solve these problems. The deposit will definitely arrive. Okay, that's not a definite. I mean, you can't definitely withdraw, so I don't know why you definitely expected to be positive. Um, 
If you have problem, why do you not temporarily suspend deposits? Uh, no answer to this. I, I'm looking down here. I still don't see any, deposit, any reply to that. It's a very fair point that nobody fucking said anything. How many people, how many money you received didn't answer him. I don't know what this means. Stop fucking word, but you know, you get your money stolen from you. Stop fucking words. How I feel too. Uh, scam exchange lost a hundred USDT. Fuck, dude. Now, I don't know if these guys get blocked or not. I don't know if they're still in here. Um, it looks like they are. So they don't get blocked. Maybe they get muted. Maybe I'm not sure. Um, but yeah, it, it it's very evident that this is this is a scam. Uh, deposits have not reflected for hours. My wedding money is involved. Oh shit, that is. You shouldn't need to beg. That's so fucking. That's sad, dude. My life is at stake. Holy shit. That's uh. That's that's fucking spooky, bro. And yeah, I mean, like, even for me, like, the necessary confirmations for some shit to post from Coinbase Pro to this piece of shit exchange, Coinbase Pro, I, I think it's just generally, that's how many uh, confirmations it is. It's only three confirmations. This piece of shit took 67 confirmations for this shit to post onto my, um, you know, onto my exchange, which I don't think the confirmation is necessarily a necessity, but just the amount of time it took is probably about three hours, give or take, three or four hours. Um... Our importance group on Coin Gecko and have a big community of scamming the group. Be careful. And if you are not able to give good service, you should go to Stop this Exchange. Exactly. You shouldn't be able to deposit if shit doesn't go through. Um, okay. Yeah, I mean, this is just. And like the craziest thing is, like, a lot of people, like, don't post about this shitty stream. I mean, like, if you go to Twitter, there's some people that. I've said, like, this is a scam. A couple people. Um, but even type in Coin Park, there's not that many tweets about this piece of shit exchange, which means most people are smart enough to use it, which is good. You know, that's good. A lot of people are too smart to, to use this. But there's a lot of coins that only have Uniswap as a pairing. And Uniswap is suffering of GUI. GUI is the, uh, the, 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 ga the gas using Ethereum. Very expensive right now. So a lot of people, like me, want to look for a uh, non-KYC alternative. Probably should just use a VPN, but the thing about VPN, you have to have with well, KLC, you have to have the um, the, uh, the, the the driver's license, something that is equivalent to get through if you're in the United States. So it's just a series of being fucked on and fucked on that led me to this piece of shit exchange, and unfortunately, uh, this piece of shit exchange. Um, you know, the funniest thing is, like, they say they're gonna feed something into the the deposit. Uh, not the deposit, but the uh, technician, and nothing ever happens with that. Like, yeah, if you can see, there's no, um, there's no means, no opportunity, no feedback from whoever the technician is supposed to be. Uh, obviously, you would think there's no technician. Uh, technician, the money is still no technician. You automatically it's just the same fucking email. And yeah, I mean, really, that's the, the that's really the, the the end goal. I mean, Coin Gecko should be a fucking exchange for having this exchange listed. It's just artificial volume that's being posted. There's no fucking chance in hell that there's actually anything being posted here, uh, because you can't. I mean, you can't withdraw. Maybe someone can, so by some means, sell. Um, I couldn't sell. I mean, you just saw me try that shit. I couldn't sell. Uh, Coin Gecko. Uh, what's this shit called? Coin Park. There we go. Going to coin park. I want to see if there's any actual volume that's actually being listed for these exchanges on here because there is nothing happening on the actual uh, exchange itself. And there's probably been tons of means for an exchange to manufacture, man, manually put in volume. But I mean, for fuck's sake, this right here, they just said 41 million before this shit just changed to whatever the fuck. Um, I can't get it to go back. Okay. 936 BTC, which does match, give or take, I mean, it's 5 BTC, which is a pretty distinct difference, but it does somewhat match what they've reported on there. But as you can see, 
that shit didn't move at all. Like, there's there's no fucking orders coming in. It's just bullshit. And all those prices are, are manufactured. They're all fake. It's all fake. <laughs> it's all fucking fake. Um, and BTC, here's the thing. 43% of what happens on this exchange is BTC. But as you saw, there's one fucking coin that you can use to, to buy, to, to sell BTC into, or to buy BTC with. You can sell into Tether. But you can only buy Ethereum with Bitcoin. So if Bitcoin is that fucking massive, then I would think Ethereum is probably pretty fucking close because you can only buy that shit with, I mean, you can use the sale premise, I guess, but then Tether, USDT, where the fuck is USDT at? I don't, if everything is premise, if it revolves around Tether, Tether should have the most fucking volume. I don't, you have to sell BTC and to Tether or you have to buy Ethereum with it. And Ethereum should be either higher, I would think, or Tether should be Somewhere I don't, I don't see I don't see a tether at all I don't see USDT I don't see where's tether at I don't see it I don't see tether anywhere There's no tether here There's no tether whatsoever I don't see any t Maybe you can say that they just don't list tether I don't know why they wouldn't because it's a coin but Okay so they don't they don't list tether everything, everything pretty much is packed against tether uh, paired against tether Okay maybe they don't list that but. These coins, none of these coins have the volume that they say they have. None of these coins like match that. Let's let's go back for a second. Let's go back to the market. Let's go back and look at some things, you know. Okay. So here, let's look at 24 hour volume. Okay. Click it one more time. So OB, and this is the part of the problem here. OB has the highest amount of volume, but it's not listed against Satoshi's. So let's just go, let's click away from this. So 938, that would be not a very high amount of volume, but maybe it's supposed to be paired against BTC. Okay, I'll give you that. So let's go back to coin part. And let's look at nothing reported for here, nothing reported for here, nothing reported for here. 24 hour volume, let's look at that. So 24 hour volume, 30, I guess it's Ethereum, I don't know. 936 BTC. That's the 24 volume, 24 hour volume. It's 936 BTC. 939 on this end. And I'm just sitting here thinking to myself, like, what is that based off of? Like, how is that how is that the case? Because I go here. I click, I click, I click, I click again. I click again. I click again. And I just look at this. It's like there's seven orders. It's like six, what five, five sales. It's not even, not even a complete amount of sales. It doesn't even move. It had this needle and it just popped the fuck back up. Guess who was the only person who did that? It was me. I'm the only person who did that shit. And it wasn't even a real. It wasn't even a real sell order. There was no real sell orders at forty one thousand. It's just all the same orders on the same fucking range. It's absolute bullshit. Is what I'm saying. This is absolute fucking falsity. I, I believe that some people are able to figure out some way of selling shit. Because I, I've seen a couple of testimonials saying so. But at the end of the day, these volumes don't make sense. Whatever I type into this fucking, uh, fucking facade here, it, is reach, it just becomes that price right here. I, it, just, it makes no sense. None of it makes sense. I, mean, I didn't mean for this video to like, last this long. I really didn't. But... I do believe that this is a probably the most bullshit exchange on the fucking market currently um, because it does have the cosign of Gecko. If you go to Utu, um, if you go to, I think, SLP, it's one of the few exchanges listed for there. If you go here, KYC, KYC, I think KYC, but I'm not sure. And yeah, I'm okay, you can admit I shouldn't have used... A fucking coin has uh, exchange has no fucking reported uh, spread, depth, trust score. Even I know I shouldn't have used it, but the point is, there's no reason for it to be on here. It has a fucking I don't know what the Satoshi's. It has like a fucking this a big amount of difference between 
the other three, which are all about in the same ballpark. That's fucking crazy. Why the fuck does CoinGecko, CoinGecko allow for this fucking exchange to be listed? Yes, I got scammed with $30. You know, I'll probably be all right out of that, you know. If you want to donate $30 in the fucking uh, description, it should be uh, fucking, you know, Venmo or some shit like that there in the description. If you want to donate that shit to me, give me back right. You don't have to, by all means. I, I, think, I think I'll be able to live off $30, you know. I think I'll be all right. But the point is, there's people. You look back at this Telegram. Look at this fucking thing. All right, fuck me. All right, look at this fucking thing. There's people that lost their fucking wedding money trying to deposit into this fucking exchange. There's people that lost fucking hundreds of dollars, if not thousands of dollars. There's the fucking technicians that have scammed multiple people. There's me typing in eat dick. This exchange is a scam. I'm not going to type that in. I'm going to just type in a stupid exchange. I don't want to, you know, I don't want to say eat it. You know, I'm, I'm, I'm going to be nice to the scammer. You know, I'm going to let him scam me. I'm going to be nice to him, shake his hand, I'm gonna fucking go to his mom, fucking smack the shit out of her for having birthed a fucking piece of fucking human filth. Fuck this damn technician. Fuck the damn dude who's saying he's going to go fucking talk to his damn technician. I'll fucking smack his technician in the fucking throat if he fucking ever says some shit to me about that motherfucking technician again. I'll fucking drive to fucking... All right, I was going to make a, a stereotype there. I'm not going to do that. But the point being, this is clearly a scam. Um, very, very self-evident. Do not ever use this exchange, ever. If, if I couldn't have been more concise to you people in this probably 30-minute fucking video, I, I don't know what I could have done. I really don't know what I could have done. 36-minute video. I wasted 36 minutes of my life telling you people, don't use this fucking exchange. And I don't really feel like it's a waste. Because it felt therapeutic. You know, I lost $30, but it felt therapeutic. So, um, yeah, don't use CoinPart. I can't say this enough. Don't fucking use CoinPart. If you do, I'll fucking stick one of his transactions. Fucking, what do you call Technicians. I'm going to stick one of his fucking technicians. I'm going to fucking put a fucking, <laughs> put a fucking, I don't even fucking know. I feel like fucking Tony Soprano at the end of like, oh, uh, when he fucking finds his goddamn monster to get him fucking killed. I'm, I feel like a fucking rabbit dog right now thinking about these fucking idiot third world country motherfuckers that are sitting here lying to other people that need that fucking money and have just scammed them and kept this bullshit going. And it's not even just for them because there's always bullshit exchanges. There's always going to be bullshit exchanges. But the fucking coin gecko is supposed to be like the most reputable um, market aggregator in fucking cryptocurrency. It keeps that bullshit going. Coin market cap. I don't think they'd have that bullshit on there. I don't know. I didn't check. But I know that Coin Gecko should be fucking smacking the fucking jaw for letting that piece of shit exchange ever have any fucking data listed on there. Fuck Coin Gecko. Fuck Coin Market Cap for not being even bigger. So where Coin Gecko gets fucking folded and runs out of fucking any kind of traffic. Fuck Coin Park. Fuck Coin Park's dad. Fuck Coin Park's mom. And fuck Coin Park's fucking daughter. I fucking hope that... <laughs>